Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna need this because we're getting into some deep topics. I'm drinking Jackson Triggs Merlot. It's a red wine. And right now Toronto's doing, or Canada, I don't know. They're doing this thing where they feature like local artists. So this is a Toronto artist on here. Um, I don't know his name, Mark Clennon. And they put a QR code, which is so cool. As you saw in the intro, we're eating spaghetti. And we are talking, why am I wearing white? Oh my God, why am I wearing white? We're talking friendship breakups today because your girl be going through it. And I also have a few videos on friendship breakups that do pretty well. And I find that people have a lot of follow-up questions and they just like ask me things. So I figure quite a few of you are interested in that. I wish you could see this closer up. I'm sorry that you can't. That's why I give you that intro. I will be making chewing noises, not intentionally. I'm just a human. And I will be eating with my mouth full. So if that's something that bugs you, I suggest clicking off. Oh my God, bitch, this is so good. Okay, let's talk about friendship breakups. So why do I want to make this video now? <sighs> I mean, we all know I love to overshare because I just lost a friend. I lost a friend. We were friends for about 12 to 13 years and i don't know man like it's been heavy on my mind kind of kind of not it's weird hard to explain so i'm talking through the situation without airing out her business um i went through a situation in which a guy kind of came between the friendship whether my friend or former friend knows it or not. He's a big reason why we're no longer friends, which is unfortunate. And um, I made a choice for myself that I had to make in order to align with my higher self. Personally, I feel like people that are no longer serving us, we can't really make space for them in our lives. We can't. And for me, I think it's important to take care of that before things go really bad. I was honest with her, told her how I felt. She agreed on many points I found. She had her own um, issues with me, of course, like, and we talked it out over text, surprisingly enough, and I made the choice to kind of just end the friendship and she was okay with it. Did I just say a whole lot of nothing? Maybe. The spaghetti is so good, guys. I think this is one of the best like batches I've ever made. Here's the way that I looked at this friendship. I found that right now, we're just on completely different pages, different stages of life, different priorities, different values, different everything. Just as much as I have fun with her, as much love as I have for her, we don't really have space for each other in our lives anymore. We're really different right now and we both are just on completely different paths, completely different paths. And that's not to say that hers is better or mine is better or whatever. It's just, we're just different. And if we continue to be friends right now, we will ruin a friendship. We're going to have a blowout fight. We're going to cuss each other out. You know, like, yeah, we could, we had like a little fight, okay? I don't really have fights with my friends at my age. So that in itself was not okay with me. We had a little fight. And um, to me... The way that I looked at it is like, I don't want to lose her forever, but I also know that if I continue this friendship right now, shit's not going to end well because we're too different that, yeah, we can make up from this fight, but three months down the line, something else is going to trigger us and we're going to end up like having a, a really big argument. You know what I mean? When I say fight, I don't mean like, I mean like blah, 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 fight, you know, verbal arguments, disagreements of, I don't know, disagreements. So that's why I literally told her, I was like, listen, like, we're going to spoil a really good thing if we continue being friends. So we got to snip, snip, you know? And she agreed. I don't know if she actually agreed or if her pride was just, you know, telling me that she agreed so that it could kind of seem like a mutual decision. I don't know. Only she knows that. But for me, I feel like right now I only have space for people who are just on a similar path as me, self-aware, you know, have the ability to communicate. And I'm not saying she's not these things, but I'm saying that like, maybe I brought out the worst in her and I got 
the short end of the stick when it came to the friendship. I can't be feeding into and watering friendships, you know, that are only gonna grow if I water them. I need someone to come in and be the sunlight. I'll water you, but you gotta you gotta put the sun on us, you know? So I, I can't just do a one-ended friendship, I can't. One ended, one sided, what's the saying? So I did what I had to do. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> this spaghetti, I'm telling you, delicioso. So friendship breakups, let's talk about them. What are you guys going through? Tell me in the comments. Like, if you want advice, I got you. Do you know how many friends I've cut off? Do you know how many friends I've had breakups with? Only one friend in my life has broken up with me. And we're friends again today. I consider myself to be a really good friend. I can be an asshole sometimes. Yes, I can be selfish sometimes. I'm not perfect. But if you need me, I'm there. You need me to help you move? I'm there. You want me to cut someone out? I'm there. You want me to defend you? I'm there. You need money? Hey, I'm not rich, but I'll be there as much as I can be. I can communicate and I can resolve arguments without letting them escalate. I won't fight you. I won't yell at you. I won't. What's the point? So, I got a comment today that somebody kind of mentioned to me that um, they don't feel the breakup yet. Their life hasn't changed, they said, or something like that. That they haven't really processed. They're not sure why they don't really feel it. And let me tell you something. If you go through a friendship breakup and your life doesn't change, you made the right choice. As of right now, if I'm being honest, with all due respect to my former friend, um, I have a lot of love for her. So this is not me throwing shade, okay? But if I'm being honest, this is my YouTube channel, so I, I'm honest on here. I don't feel any different. And that's when I realized that the friendship was kind of one-sided and she, she was there for me as much as she could be. She was, but she has her own shit that she needs to figure out that has nothing to do with me and that's okay. Um, so yeah, I, I don't feel, I don't feel a loss, um, which kind of made me sad because I was like, damn, like, was I watering a dead plant? I tend to do that. Because I can't keep plants alive to save my life. I don't know what that says about me, but it probably says something. I'm having seconds, bitch. Do I need it? Probably not, but it tastes good. These chairs are so wobbly. I don't know if you can see. I wonder if my neighbors watch me and think I'm like self-obsessed or if they know I'm a YouTuber because like this ring light's always on and I'm always posed up in front of it, you know? Bro, I'm gonna finish this cheese. Anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, this is what's happening in my life. Um, I wanna talk about how to get through friendship breakups because I know that some friendship breakups are really fucking hard. Some of these friendship breakups will have you like feeling empty. You feel big gaps in your day when you're like usually talking to them and you're like, whoa, what am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to talk to? Who do I call? Especially when it's one of those friends that you spent a lot of time on FaceTime with or on the phone with. You call when you're driving, you call when you're bored. Those friendship breakups are hard because you feel them. It's like a relationship breakup. I have a busy life now, I guess. So my days never really are filled with um, calls like that anymore. Except my pregnant friend. We talk pretty often. But um, I will say, like, I don't really feel much of a loss. But I have before. And it's not fun. So if you're going through that, I have some tips for you. I hope they help. Find a new hobby. When one of my ex-friends and I broke up and I didn't know what to do with myself, I just went really hard on YouTube. I had no one to talk to. I had nothing to do. So I was like, let me make a YouTube channel. And I did. And it took off, you know? You can try another hobby. When my ex and I broke up, he was one of those people that like filled all the gaps in my day. I started sewing. I'm not good at it, but I can do it. I made a hundred tote bags. Those are really easy. If you're learning to sew, make some tote bags. I made tote bags. I would just sew random shit. Find a hobby. Find a podcast. That helped me too. I would watch a lot of um, Hindsight or listen to his podcast. Because when you're listening to a podcast, it kind of feels like you're talking to a friend. And the best part is when you discover a new one, you can binge it. 
And when you can binge a podcast, ooh, that's the best. My favorite podcasts are Hindsight, Sophia with Enough, Horrible Decisions, Too Tired to Be Crazy, We Said What We Said, As You Should, and I listen to Views every now and then, David Dobrik. Okay guys, I'm gonna need no judgment, okay? I'm gonna need no judgment from you guys. I'm going back for more. You know why? It's because I have a lot of sauce on my plate. I can't throw out perfectly good sauce. I'm just gonna add some noodles to it. Please, no judgment. I'm not putting much. I'm just putting just a little teensy weensy little bit. See, just a little bit. Oh, you know these chairs have a weight limit of 200? <sighs> Bro. I don't know what to do if somebody comes over that's over that weight limit. Like, what am I supposed to do? Is it worse if I let them break the chair or is it worse if I tell them not to sit on it? Comment down below. Just kidding, don't. I don't even know, like, I'm not even joking. Like, I really wouldn't know what to do. I would feel so bad. Anyways, so I wanna talk about like the grieving process of friendship breakups as well. There are certain friendships that are gonna like hit you really hard. And those ones are gonna feel like, like real breakups, you know? I had one friend that I was friends with like, how long ago? Two years ago, a year and a half ago. And I still think about that friendship really often, more often than I should. Um, and I think about reaching out more often than I should. I don't know what's stopping me. I don't know if it's pride. I don't know if it's ego, pride, same thing. I don't, I don't know what it is. Fear of rejection. I don't know. I think I will reach out one day. I just, you know when you know someone a little too well and you feel like you can anticipate their reaction and you're just like, I don't know if I wanna go through that. Especially when you've heard their feedback on like when their former friends would reach out and you know how they respond to that, you're kinda like, what's the point? But then you're also like, fuck it, should I just do it anyways? and deal with the rejection if it comes. I think that's what I'm feeling. This is cold. I'm microwaving it. This is my last, last serving. Also, I haven't eaten all day. So if anybody there is judging me, which I keep saying, but I actually don't like give a fuck if you are. Um, I haven't eaten all day. Let's warm this up. Wine break. I like this. I like this a lot. And it was cheap. I think it was like $13 or something. I don't know, but it was cheap. I also want to talk about uh, the significance behind losing this friend right by the full moon and also right when I'm moving. I found that really weird. There were two people in my life that I kind of like lost at that time. I find that weird because this person was such a significant part of my healing process um, when it came to the breakup. And it was almost like she just like needed to be there until she didn't need to. Um, not on her account. I'm talking like the universe, like made sure she was around for that because it helped me. Um, so thank you for being there if you're watching this former friend, which I hope you're not, but thank you. Um, and it was really weird how I moved and she never saw my new place. A lot of new people have seen my new place. New friends have seen my new place, which is weird. Very weird to me because it's like this new place is only allowing new energy and people from my past that are no longer serving my current life have not stepped foot in here, which is really fucking weird. The day before she was gonna help me move in here we ended our friendship. Isn't that weird? Right by the full moon. Sorry, it wasn't the full moon, it was the new moon. It was the new moon. New moon, new energy, so weird. Always trust the universe. What is meant for you will not miss you. It won't. I've learned that the hard way. Ooh, I'm getting full. I don't even know if I could finish this bowl. My eyes are bigger than my stomach. That's what people say to me. What's meant for you will never miss you. My breakup made no sense to me. 
in 2019. It made no sense to me in 2020. But in 2021, it made perfect sense. I forced it. And that's my romantic relationship. So, platonic friendships work the same way, in my opinion. If you have someone that you're hanging on to, that you know is no longer serving you, you are doing a disservice to yourself by keeping them in your life. They will drain you of your energy and they will hold you back from experiences that you're meant to go through. You need to make room for the people in your life that are meant to be there. You might have a twin flame bestie waiting for you, just waiting for you, but there's no room for him or her in your life. You need to cut that person off that's holding you back to make space for them. It's like the concept I came up with last time where it's like, if your closet is full, you can't fit any more clothes in there. You need to purge. You need to get rid of some shit in your closet to make room for all your new pretty shiny items from Zara. They won't fit if you're keeping your old raggedy pajamas from 2002 in there. You gotta take them out. You gotta take them out. Same goes with friends. If you know there's someone that's not serving you, you need to cut them off. And I guarantee you when you cut them off, you're gonna meet a new friend with similar energy but better and healthier and more meant for you and more aligned with your path. They're gonna come along right when you cut that friend off and you're gonna be like, damn, where have you been my whole life? They've been waiting. But you wanted to hold on to your little bestie because you've known each other for 10 years, okay? Just because you've known each other for 10 years doesn't mean that they're a good friend to you. There are people in my life that I just met that wish well on me and, and are better friends to me than people who have known for five years plus. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Oh, I'm getting so full. Oh my God. I feel like I have to finish this. What's the point in throwing this out, you know what I mean? I don't usually like overeat this much, but I just feel like I should. It's a mukbang. But I just want to reassure you guys, like if you're going through a uh, friendship breakup, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel heartbroken. If you're curious about what I'm feeling, I'm disappointed. I'm not really sad, if I'm being honest. I'm disappointed in the friendship failing. I'm disappointed in my former friend for things that I don't need to say on the internet. And I'm disappointed that I put as much energy into it as I did. But I don't regret it at all. I just wish it could have worked out better. I didn't want to cut it off. I did not want to do it. It wasn't easy. I wasn't like, oh, like snip, snip, ho. No, I was sad. I was really sad the day that it happened. And when we were exchanging our final words, there was a lot of love there, which made me sadder. I would almost rather be like, fuck you, bitch. But that's not my style. I was sad. Am I currently sad? No, because I trust the universe and I trust God and I trust myself to make the right decisions to align myself with my higher self, my higher path, whatever, I don't know. But, it is what it is, man. Sometimes you just gotta choose you, and that's what I did. I chose me, and I felt like it was a test from the universe, which is annoying. Yeah, you're not alone. And if you need advice on friendship breakups, drop it in the comments. If I don't get to it, I know one of my subscribers will, because you guys are real ones. You guys are so supportive. I always see you guys commenting back to each other with advice and I'm like, oh my god, I finished. Kinda outdid myself on that one. This is my last video of the day, so I'm gonna have another glass. But you're not about to get messy, Ashley, on this video. Maybe next time. A year ago, I was drunk. And my boyfriend at the time was on his way over and I was drinking for the video and um, life's really different now. Isn't that crazy how much can change in a year? If you told me a year ago today that I would be single, living downtown, in therapy, lost my bestie of 12 fucking years, I wouldn't believe you. I'd be like, no, that's not true. What? What's happening? What is life right now? 
and there's so much that I would love to tell you guys right now, but in time. In time. Oh, I think my package is here. Yes? Okay, I gotta go. I think my package is actually here, so. <sighs> if you're drinking, cheers with my little Dollar Tree glass. Oh, my camera's dying. Great timing. I'm gonna go get my package and film some TikToks. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.